Okay, so I'm just going to talk you through this one because I just went through the whole explanation without pressing start. So today we're going to be starting chapter 11.2. Uh, an object of mass 2 kilogram moves in a straight line and is acted upon by a force of 12t minus 24 newtons, where t is the time in seconds. Um, initially, the object is 5 metres to the right of the origin. Now, that important that information is important because if it's to the right, then that's a positive direction on a number line, meaning that it is going to be positive 5. If it was to the left, it would be negative 5 because that's the negative direction on a number line. It comes to rest after 2 seconds. Now, that means that when t is equal to 2, your speed or your velocity is 0 because it's at rest, it's no longer moving. Calculate the distance travelled by the object in the first 2 seconds. Okay, so over here, this yellow information that I highlighted is the information we're going to be using first. So as we know, force equals mass by acceleration. Now I'm going to substitute the two in as the mass and this force in on the other side and rearrange to get a function for the acceleration. Now it's important to note in this question, it's not stated whether the acceleration is positive or negative. So we're just going to leave the acceleration as A. If it's stated to me that it was decelerating, then I would give it make it negative a. Okay, so now I've got a function for the acceleration, which can also be expressed as x with the little two dots above it. So this is how we can say acceleration as well. So this is the acceleration formula. If I want to find velocity, then I need to integrate it. So I'm integrating it, which gives me this down here. Now I've got some constant on the end here. And so far in methods, we've left it at that point. But in specialist maths, we're given a bit of extra information, which means we can solve for the constant value. So now I'm going to be taking this information here in blue. So when time is equal to 2, the speed is 0 because it's at rest. So that means that over here, when time is equal to 2, or when I substitute 2 into my function, it should be equal to 0 because it's at rest. So we've done that and we've rearranged to get c is equal to 12. Now I can put that back into my formula and I've got a full formula. So next thing we want to do is we want to integrate this again to get a function for displacement. So as you can see here, displacement doesn't have any dots above it. So I've integrated it. I'm left with a constant on the end. Now I'm going to use my next piece of information because now I know that my displacement function, when t equals 0, it should equal 5. So I'm going to plug that information in and I'm left with c equals 5, meaning that this one here is a function for my displacement at any point. So to calculate the distance travelled by the object in the first two seconds, I'm going to let t equal 0, which gives me 5 as above, and I'm going to let t equal 2 and substitute that in, which is 13. Now that I've got my two values, all I need to do is measure the distance between the two to find out how much it's travelled in that time. So if it started at 5 and went to 13, I can do 13 minus 5 to work out the distance between them, which gives me 8 metres.